Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited because finally I have my very own NVIDIA Jetson TX2 developer kit and here it is. This is one of the fastest and most power efficient embedded Linux devices for artificial intelligence and machine learning applications thanks to the 256 CUDA cores. The developer kit contains the Jetson TX2 module below this heat, a huge heatsink and a motherboard or also known as a carrier board. This is for research and development purposes but if you are working on your product you may want to add the TX2 module on a different board and if you are designing a printed circuit board for this purpose the sponsor of this video can help you. PCBWay is capable of manufacturing high quality printed circuit boards with up to 14 layers. This is more than enough for even very complex projects such as a carrier board for NVIDIA Jetson TX2. PCBWay also offers assembly, 3D printing and CNC services. And if you're looking for inspiration, go to PCBWay.com and check the shared projects directory. There are so many interesting projects, including using NVIDIA Jetson development boards. Now, let's have a closer look at the technical specifications. Jetson TX2 comes with dual-core NVIDIA Denver 2 64-bit CPU and quad-core ARM Cortex A57 MP core processor complex. It has a GPU with NVIDIA Pascal architecture with 256 NVIDIA CUDA cores at 1.3 uh, teraflops. It also features 8 gigabytes of 128-bit LPDDR4 RAM memory, and you can attach up to 6 cameras. Over the years, NVIDIA has released several different models of the TX2 module. We have the TX2 module that I've just showed you. There is a version with 4 GB RAM and there is also an industrial version of the module. Recently, NVIDIA also released TX2 NX, which is an entry-level AI module. Each of these hardware modules has a different life cycle and end-of-life date. The Jetson TX2 module will be in production until January 2025. The industrial version of the module will be in production until 2028. NVIDIA Tegra devices are very powerful and because of this they are used for a lot of industrial and automotive applications in various products. This Jetson TX2 is not the latest and greatest, but it's still quite expensive. The good thing is that it is now available as a used item on eBay and that's how I got it at a very good price. Keep in mind that Jetson TX2 and other Tegra devices by NVIDIA are in general um, far more expensive than your average maker's board such as Raspberry Pi, but they're also far more powerful. The global chip shortage has impacted pretty much all devices on the market and Jetson TX2 is not an exception, it's out of stock from certain suppliers. Brand new Jetson TX2 developer kits can be extremely expensive with price going for more than a thousand US dollars. However, you can also find used items just like I did for a very reasonable price and actually significantly lower than the initial price on the market of this device when it was released in 2017. The majority of the connectors are on one of the sides of the dev kit. From left to right, we have the power jack, Next to it we have a couple of antennas, then we have a micro USB connector, after that we have a USB A connector, an HDMI connector, SD card socket, and finally we have on the far right side an Ethernet connector. Right behind the Ethernet jack, on the other side of the dev kit, we have the PCI Express and the SATA connectors. 
On the opposite side of the reference carrier board for the Jetson TX2 developer kit, we have a JTAG connector and a bunch of buttons. We have a reset switch, a volume down switch, um, recovery switch and power switch. The power switch is used to turn on uh, the board and the recovery switch is important because with it we can flash new images. There is a 40 pin expansion header which is quite similar to the 40 pin header on a Raspberry Pi. It includes I2C, SPI, UART and a lot of GPIOs. And if this is not enough for you, don't worry, because actually there is an additional expansion header with another 30 pins. Furthermore, Jetson TX2 Developer Kit offers an M2 slot and a display connector. I'm going to do a sort of a teardown. The Jetson TX2 module includes a huge heatsink and a fan which is on top of the heatsink. The Jetson TX2 module is attached using four Torx screws to the reference carrier board, so I'll need a screwdriver to remove it. On the back of the module we can see some technical information, including the exact model. Both the module and the reference carrier board are made by NVIDIA in China. NVIDIA is providing software uh, board support packages to get started with Linux on their uh, Jetson Tegra devices, including on the Jetson TX2. The software packages include a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu root file system. We need to do a little bit of wiring before we can turn on the Jetson TX2 developer kit. I'm connecting an HDMI monitor and using a USB hook I'm going to connect a mouse and a keyboard. I bought this as an used item and I don't have the original power supply, therefore I'm going to use an external 19 volt adapter from an old laptop as a replacement. After connecting all these cables, the only thing that I have to do is to press the power button to turn it on. Now we can see how Linux is booting on Jetson TX2 Developer Kit, keep in mind that I have speed up this thanks to the magic of the video editing software. The root file system is based on the popular Linux distribution Ubuntu. Because of this, we're booting a really old version of Ubuntu. This is release 1604, which means that it has been released in 2016. And although this was a long-term support release of Ubuntu, it's no longer actual at all. Later on, I'll take care and update the software. I have no plans to use Ubuntu. I'm using it just for demonstration purposes in this video. I'm planning to build my own distribution for this board. I'm opening a terminal to have a look at the Ubuntu version, the Linux kernel version and the hardware specifications for the CPU and the RAM memory. Of course Ubuntu allows us to see the same information from a graphical user interface. Jetson TX2 offers us an 8GB of RAM and a 64-bit operating system because the CPU is ARM v8. This is a 64-bit implementation of the ARM architecture. One more interesting thing from the software side is that we can run the open source Chromium web browser with enabled hardware acceleration, including for WebGL. I'm going to launch the web browser for a very quick and short demonstration. We're gonna just have a look at the GPU configurations. Although the Ubuntu provided by NVIDIA is good enough to get started and get familiar with the hardware, if you are working on a professional uh, project, it is highly recommended to build your own Linux distribution for this device. And to do this, you can use a build system. My preferred choice that I recommend to anyone is the Yocto project and Open Embedded because there is a fantastic community maintained BSP layer called Metadegra. And there are also solutions for AB updates uh, integrated for a Jetson TX2, such as Rock. It's time to wrap up this short video with conclusions. I have to say that NVIDIA Jetson TX2 module and the whole developer kit is an amazing embedded Linux device. I don't expect uh, people to buy this and put it below their TV sets. First of all, because it's quite bulky and second, because it's quite expensive. 
but it's far more capable than the average maker's board such as Raspberry Pi. And if you have a chance like me to buy a used item at a decent price from eBay or somewhere, somewhere else, go for it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.